Today I'm going to show off a new application that's about to be launched from uh, uh, Triplay and Magimob that's going to launch on the Pillarphone uh, website uh, operator and it's specifically the same uh, music service that I talked about uh, a year ago or so only the touch version of that uh, application. This is based on a design for the iPhone originally and the operator didn't want to redesign to adapt it to the different devices so, but the designs aren't final because there aren't we de uh, Magimob doesn't yet have all the functionality for uh, all the UI elements. There's supposed to be a lot more animations and features like that within this application uh, but the basic functionality is uh, still there. Uh, it also entirely supports device rotation in all the, the screens of the application and uh, that pretty much works as expected. Uh, the UI by the way is in Hebrew so you'll notice it's entirely in right to left although it should work uh, for English as well. Uh, lots of the UI elements here um, still don't have all the final uh, user interface aspects or the final performance also. This is a debug version we got here. Um, it's, as I said, running well on BlackBerry, uh, both touch and non -touch, uh This is actually the touch version, so it runs on the BlackBerry Torch. Should probably work on the Storm, although I don't think it's a target device. And uh, by the way, it's slow because you have 1,600 songs here right now and uh, I think 500 artists and albums. So it's pretty impressive the speed at which it's uh, scrolling right now. And uh, uh, as I said, it's running on pretty much uh, every device you'd expect. It's got some pretty nifty features like, for instance, here I can uh, search by a specific uh, artist and uh, just type in the name and it's and the artist uh, is uh, narrowed down to a specific artist. Uh, I'd like to show the albums view where they have a really cool feature uh, also brings the covers on the fly where they have this sort of feature where you switch to a grid view in the grid view, you, it's essentially a list as well, just a different way of looking at that particular list. Uh, a bit slow with 500 uh, songs I downloaded to the device right here. Uh, by the way, the application is doesn't stream. It uh, downloads and caches uh, music locally. It's uh, DRM protected. Like, uh, you remember the old music's... Uh, uh, post I did back then. Same thing. And here I can dig in deeper into a particular album. Uh, notice things snap to grid and all sorts of other minor behaviors uh, we've got here. It's a bit difficult for me to click on something specific here. Uh, let me move back to the list view and find us something nice in English to play back. Mm. or maybe let's scroll down mm. let's find something uh. yeah. where's that Ah, right, I'm in the albums, I'm not in the... <laughs> I'm looking for a particular band when I should be looking for an album. Well, let's just play something I don't even know. Uh, whatever that is. And uh, one of the features of this application is that it uh, streams the data on the fly initially and starts progressively playing while downloading the content locally uh, on the fly. Now, uh, it fetches the cover and the background 
And while it does that, it still supports the rotation and the playback of uh, everything. And this all works on J2ME just exactly the same. No change whatsoever. You can see the list of songs being played. Uh, that's the basic application. You can, here you have a store. You can uh, shop by genres and uh, search within the store, etc. It's a very large application in terms of functionality. Uh, very unique. Um, that's it.